People often ask me about tips or tactics that I have for hunters. And to be honest with you, the first thing that I always tell them is to be safe. Now that may seem like common sense, but truly you need to observe the four safety rules. The four safety rules, very, very important. If you stick by the four safety rules that are very simple, you're going to be able to avoid most if all problems. Rule number one is that all guns are always loaded. That's simply a mindset that we adopt. Rule number two is that I never let the muzzle, the business end of the firearm, cover or cross over anything that I'm not willing to destroy. And hunters, I'm going to add to that your own body parts. When your rifle is slung, be careful of your feet. Okay? When you're handling the gun, be careful of your hands. Rule number three, keep your fingers straight until your sights are on target. I'm not going to let my finger get anywhere near the trigger until my sights are on target. At that point, I'm clear to put my finger on the trigger, but not before. Rule number four, be sure of your target. Be sure that it's something that needs to be addressed with the gun, and of course, the projectile that comes out of it. Be sure that it's something that needs to be addressed with your rifle or your handgun or your shotgun, as well as anything that can come out of those firearms. Now, we also wanna be sure of what's behind our target, what's to the side of our target, and very importantly, what's between us and our target. And sometimes we hunters lose track of that. You know, once you get that animal that you've been after for so long in view, sometimes we get tunnel vision and you can drive a truck between you and your target. So be sure of what's between your target. Be sure of your target and what's all around it. One more thing I'll add is that whenever you are checking the condition of your firearm, that is to say how loaded it is, you're going to check physically the chamber to make sure that there's nothing in there, as well as to check your magazine physically. It's not enough just to do a quick peek. Sometimes the light isn't with us and we can't actually see in the chamber. Sometimes we can't actually see what's in the magazine. So do a physical check. If you can release the magazine, so much the better.